Hi, this is question number seven from the January 2013 Mechanics 2 exam paper. Um, in this question, we've got a small ball of mass three kilograms um, that is suspended from a point O by a light inextensible um, string of length 1.2 meters. So we've got this ball here of mass three kilograms and um, we've got the string of length here of 1.2 meters. Initially the string is taut and the ball is at the point P vertically below O. The ball is set into motion with an initial horizontal velocity of 4 meters per second. The ball moves in a vertical circle center O. The point A on the circle is such that angle AOP is 25 degrees. Part A says find the speed of the ball at point A. Okay, so we'll just underline that and that there. Okay, so for part A, we need to find the speed of the ball at point A. Okay, so in order to work this out, I'm going to use my conservation of energy because I know that um, from P starting here and ending up here, um, some of its ki uh, kinetic energy is going to be lost and it's going to have gained some potential energy. So I'm going to say um, that my loss in kinetic energy is going to be equal to my gain in potential energy. Okay, so um, my loss in kinetic energy, well, um, that's going to be um, half um, u squared take away half um, v squared and that is going to be equal to the gain in potential energy which is going to be um, gh okay so um, before I before I go on to this um, I know what m is that's going to be my mass which is three kilograms I know u that's going to be my initial velocity which is going to be four um, meters per second um, I'm trying to work out what v is I know what m is, I know what g is, but I need to know what h is. Now h is this distance here, um, that's what h is there. So we also need to know um, how much higher it is to, to where it started. Um, now in order to work this out, I'm going to try and work out what this distance here is, and then I can work out this distance here. So um, I'll show you what I mean, if I just draw a And go from there to there. I've now got a right angle triangle. Um, I know that this distance here is going to be the radius, which is 1.2 meters. And I know um, that this is a right angle here. So I should be able to use that information to work out this distance here. Um, so that's going to be, um, so to work out age, I'm going to start by doing but it's going to be 1.2 which is this whole distance take away and that's going to be 1.2 cos 25 which is going to be that distance there so h is going to be equal to 1.2 take away 1.2 um, cos 25 um, and that works out to be Uh, 0 0.11243 okay now I know what h is I can substitute my values into um, this equation here now you might notice that the m's um, in here are going to all cancel each other out okay so that means I've now got a half u squared um, and u is 4 meters per second so I've got um, a half of 16 
um, which is going to be 8 take away and I've got a half v squared and v is what we're trying to find out so we'll write that in as a half v squared is going to be equal to um, g times h which is going to be 9.8 times by 0 0.11243 um, so okay um, and if I simplify this I can say that v squared is going to actually be equal to 13.796 and v is going to be equal to um, 3.71 meters per second okay so that's part a um, and we've worked out what the speed is now for part B um, we need to find the tension in the string when the ball is at point A so when we've got to this point here um, we want to know what the tension in the string is so in order to solve this um, we're going to have to resolve it um, what we call radially or towards the centre um, I'm going to start by drawing a diagram so we're going to start off with um, our particle here and um, we're going to have we're going to have the tension acting in that direction there and we're also going to have a weight that's going to be going downwards here so um, our tension which we're trying to work out and we're also going to have our weight which is mg and we know m is 3 so we can call that 3g newtons there okay um, and I've also got an angle here um, which I can mark down um, and this angle here is going to be the same as that angle there so that's going to be 25 degrees okay um, and also just to highlight that this angle here is also going to be 25 degrees okay so um, result and um, um, what else we need to do actually here is we need to mark down that we've got our acceleration that's going to be going towards the center so in this direction and um, that's going to be equal to um, and because we we're using the speed over here I'm going to say v squared over r right so um, using Newton's second law we've got f is equal to m a so our net force is going to be well we're going to be resolving this in the direction towards the center so we're going to have t take away and this is going to be 3g but we want this component of it so it's going to be 3g cos 25 okay and just to clarify that this is because we're resolving it towards the center so t take away 3g cos 25 that's going to be my net force and that's going to be equal to my mass which is 3 times by my acceleration which is v squared over r um, and v is 3.71 so that's going to be um, 3.71 squared over r which is our um, radius which is 1.2 meters okay so um, now we're trying to work out our tension so I can say well my tension is going to be equal to um, 3g cos 25 adding that onto the other side plus and um, whatever this works out to be so 3 times 3.71 squared over 1.2 and if I um, 
put all of this into my calculator, I get 61.1 newtons. Okay, um, thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.